In this video, I want to go over the difference between AC and DC ignition systems, how the charging system works, and why a DC ignition system is much better than an AC ignition system. In the process, I hope to educate you on a bunch of stuff that's very not very good to know when you're dealing with motorcycles, ATVs, scooters, jet skis, any really power sport equipment. So to start, this is a stator, okay? All stators will have charging coils, just like this. This one has all charging coils. This is also a stator. This one has 18 charging coils. This one has 10 charging coils and an 11th exciter coil. And I'll explain that in just a second. And this one has seven charging coils and one exciter coil. And so now that you know what three different stators look like, the one, the one that has the most coils, just like this, puts out the most charge. And the reason why you would have a stator is to charge your battery. Say you're riding, your lights are on, your tail light, your headlight, and you want to charge your battery. Some people have big stereo systems and things like that, and they want a max charging. They don't want their battery to go dead while they're riding. That's where more coils would come in. So like, for instance, something with just a tiny little, maybe a, just a headlight, you would use, an, they, they would call this an eight coil stator, even though there's only seven charging coils and one exciter coil. Same here, 10 charging coils, one exciter coil. They call it 11 pole stator. This is an 18 pole stator. There's no exciter coil in there. What is an exciter coil? That's this guy right here. This is an exciter coil. Same here. This one does not have an exciter coil. So what's the difference between an AC and a DC stator? Well, a DC stator will never have an exciter coil like this. So this is a DC stator. That's how you can tell the difference between an AC or a DC stator. The other thing to note is all AC stators will have this extra red or black with the red stripe. You notice this one also has the black with the red stripe. Another thing that's very, very important for you to know that gets very confused is this pickup coil. All stators will have a pickup coil that looks just like this. Notice this, notice the wire. This isn't even part of the charging system, but they all come with it. So get that out of your brain. This pickup coil is not part of the charging system, even though when you buy a stator, they all come with a pickup coil. We'll get to that in just a second. But same exact thing here. They're, it's not connected. And AC, this red wire right here is gonna go back to this exciter coil. Same exact thing here. So as long as you know what that means, then we're good. We can go on to the next step. Now, how does a stator get its charge? Now, I call this a DC stator, and I call these AC stators, but here's the thing. In order to get a charge, we've got something called a magneto. This is a magneto right here, and it's got magnets in there. You can't see them, but there's magnets. And if you notice, it's magnetized. Watch this. Bam! So whenever you attach this to your engine, let me show you just a second you're gonna get something that looks like this. Here's a scooter engine. Has an 18 pole stator, just like this one. This engine has a magneto that would go on here. And as the engine's spinning, you know, like the, if you, if you start the engine, so you've got your crankshaft, that thing's spinning. We can get into all that, but I'm just trying to show you the charging system. As that's spinning, the magnets are going past these little uh, charging coils, just like this. It's going past, just like this, spinning. It's generating a charge. These three yellow wires are all getting a charge. So there's multiple different coils that go into one wire. And uh, each one of these wires is going to get the same amount of charge through them. Now, if you have a stator that only has six coils, you only have two wires. Even though, it says there, even though there's three here, that green one is actually just a ground. But it only has two wires. This one has three, 11 pole. I want to make sure you understand how, that, how the charge is being generated because it's going to put AC current through here, you can either have AC current or DC current. Now, DC current, if I was to say I wanted to power up a light and I put positive and negative on this battery, that's DC per current, direct current, that's what it's called. Alternating current cannot be stored. You can't have an AC uh, battery. So it, where I'm going with, with this is all stators supply AC current, okay? Our goal is to get this AC current into this battery. 
so that it charges the battery. How do we do that? Now that you guys understand these, I'm just gonna put these to the side. We don't need these anymore. We're just gonna focus on this so there's not too much going on. So now you've got the charge coil. That thing's spinning on the motor, just like this. Okay, now you've got your three yellow wires. Remember, this is AC power. Doesn't matter if you have an AC stator or a DC stator, they all put out AC power. The only difference is it doesn't have that exciter coil. And I'll get to that in a minute on, on what that is. So this goes into the here. This is called a rectifier regulator, okay? Rectifying meaning it converts AC volts to DC volts, and then it regulates the voltage coming out of it. So here's the three yellow wires going in as AC volts, okay? Now it's converting it to DC volts, direct current. Alternating current is AC, direct current is DC. That's gonna get sent directly to your battery. See that? That's gonna go right to your battery and that's how it's charging your battery. You can't send these three yellow wires because it's alternating current to your battery because it has to be converted to DC. So that's why we have an rectifier regulator. Symptoms of a rectifier regulator going bad would be it's not regulating the charge. So you're getting, you're blowing out headlights, taillights, the battery's like starting to expand and things like that. That would be an example of a rectifier regulator going bad. So I hope you understand the charging system part of it. Now let's go into the ignition system part of it. Now let's talk about AC versus DC ignition systems. You can't talk about an ignition system without first understanding the charging system because they are a little bit integrated into each other. As I was explaining earlier, if you have this exciter coil, you have an AC stator. If you don't have the exciter coil, then you have a DC stator. Both of them charge AC. Remember, they go back to the rectifier regulator. But the deciding factor is, do you have an exciter coil? Or do you have this extra wire right here? This little extra wire is an AC power wire. So all these charging coils put out AC current. And we use these, these coils here to charge the battery, but one's left over just to charge the CDI box. If you notice, the DC stator does not have that exciter coil, like I was explaining earlier, but they both have this, what we call a pickup coil. And this is where we get into the ignition system and why it's very important to understand the difference between AC and DC. I had to go through that part first so you understood this. Okay, no matter what, which stator we choose, all of them are gonna have a magneto goes over the top of the stator like this, and then it's, it gets bolted down, and as the engine's running, it's spinning. If you notice this little reluctor right here. This is called a reluctor. This is called a pickup coil. See down here? This pickup coil, it's the same as you see here, same as you see here. Again, it's not part of the stator, but they come with the stator, just in that loom together. So once I bolt that on there, and it goes on there and bolts up. As the engine spins, that little reluctor right there is gonna spin past this pickup coil, okay? Every time it spins past, spins past that pickup coil, it's gonna tell the engine to spark through this blue wire right here. It's gonna say spark, 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 spark. So if this thing's bad, you're not gonna get any spark. We'll start with this DC stator first. This is a DC CDI box. This, whenever I teach you about AC, you're gonna understand why it's a complete dinosaur technology and DC should be always the way the ignition is. But anyway, you got your pickup coil, that's your trigger, we call that our trigger. It tells the engine when to spark. If you notice on this DC CDI box, you've got black, that's ground, kind of like on your battery, ground, positive, and there's one left over right here. That plugs in right there. That is your trigger wire. Very, very easy. So now you've got your CEI box and then you've got your spark plug ignition coil. All in one, this is a CDI coil combo. This makes diagnosing an issue very, very easy. Is this bad or is this bad? Very, very easy to diagnose. So that's the complete DC. Now, what if you have an AC stator and you wanna run a DC charging system? Well, we can do that, no problem. We'll just unplug this, and this one's got this wire. We'll just plug it right in there, like that, okay? Which is a different plug, so that's why it's not plugging in directly. That's the way it's gonna go. And then we just don't use this red wire anymore, okay? That's very, very easy. But why would why would you wanna do AC and then remove the, 
and not use this red wire, well, the problem is, is you're, you're wasting, you've only got seven coils here. Wouldn't you want to fill those up with charging coils? So that's the reason why we have a DC 18 pole. The reason why we're able to fit so many coils, charging coils in there versus a AC system is because we don't have this exciter coil. That takes up a lot of room. So that's why we have a DC stator. And we're, like I said, we can run this DC CDI box on this AC stator just by not using this red wire. So that's very easy to understand. I hope you understand that. And let's go into how an AC CDI box works and an AC ignition system. You understand how the stator works. The one thing that we really didn't go in depth is, is this exciter coil. So this exciter coil is gonna charge this wire. This wire is gonna go into the CDI box, okay? Remember our last one was a CDI coil in one. This red wire, see this red wire right here? On this, my illustration, this is our exciter coil. It's going back to here. So basically this is gonna plug in here. Now our stator has power. The only way it gets power is if the engine is cranking over, generating current, because this is a coil. Okay, now the AC um, CDI box has power. In order to kill it, you have to have an extra wire to kill it. You can't just take, unlike a DC system, you're like, oh, I'm gonna kill it, let's just pull the power off. It's not like that. You gotta have a, a, a whole separate wire for that. Okay, so there's two extra wires now from our DC. Here is our pickup coil. We can't change that. That's how we get our trigger. Every time this passes by on our magneto, our pickup coil sends a signal to the CDI box, which is right here. Same as the DC, can't get away from that no matter which way you go. There's that. Then you have a ground wire right here. That's gonna go to your coil, your ignition coil. And then you've got this black with the yellow stripe coming out of your CDI box, that's gonna be going to your ignition coil as well. So you have positive and negative on your ignition coil. You've got one extra wire to charge the CDI box, give power to it. Now you understand why this is a bad process. So you have this extra exciter coil, you have a CDI box, you have an ignition coil, and you have one, two, and normally you have a ground here, three, four, five extra wires that you're not gonna use. So when you choose AC system, ignition system, or DC ignition system, which one are you gonna choose? You're gonna choose DC. Makes life really, really easy. You got power that goes directly to your battery. You got ground that goes directly to your battery. And the only other wire is this little blue wire that comes from the stator right here. And you're, it's actually the trigger wire like I explained. And that's how the DC system works. Very, very easy. And then this guy, this is just a lot going on that doesn't need to ha doesn't need to be, to be there. It's just wasteful. So we're not going to be using this. This, we're not using this exciter coil. We can get a stator with more charging coils. So this is our 18-pole charging system upgrade kit with DC CDI coil combo, performance CDI coil combo. This is a complete kit. If you're running an eight pole stator or an 11 pole stator and you wanna upgrade your charging system and at the same time upgrade your CDI coil combo, that means you can get rid of your CDI box, get rid of your coil, and get rid of your old stator. This is our kit. And people have been asking for this for a long time. So I wanted to make an educational video and then kind of explain how it worked. So we'll just do a quick run through how it works. You know that the AC stuff's baloney. So, First of all, you're going to get a flywheel puller. This just screws in here. Okay. Well, once, once it's on here, it's pressed on. So you screw this on and it's a puller. And that'll get this off of here, your old one. Because th this is an 18 pole. It doesn't work on these 8 or 11 pole stators. So this is included. But we include the tool to get the magneto off of the engine for the all GY6 QMJ157 engines. Okay. So that you'll pull that. Magneto off, you'll install this 18 pole stator. This upgrades your charging system. Remember, we have AC volts coming out of there. It's like that, it goes into your rectifier regulator. This converts AC volts to DC, sends power back to your battery. This plugs directly into your positive and your negative. It'll make sure that it doesn't go above 15 volts because this is a rectifier regulator, it regulates it as well. 
And then you've got your CDI coil combo. This will plug into any power going back to the, your bike. So for instance, we like to tap this into your tail light, not your brake light, your tail light. So when you turn the key on, this is powered on. We're not doing any AC cranking this over and generating power through this red wire, okay, like I explained. It's direct current. AC, AC current is done -zo. Direct current is here. So I include the little adapter to do that. And then you just put this to the ground of the engine and this guy plugs directly in just like that. You can mount this anywhere you want. This goes to your spark plug and this is your pickup. This will tell the engine when to spark every time it spins around here. So this is it. This is the kit. Everything you need to convert your GUI6 QMJ157 from 8 or 11 pull to 18 pull max charging. That's as big as you can go on a GUI6 and upgrading the CDI coil combo. This is a microprocessor CDI. The spark is much, much better. The timing is advanced. There's so much magic going on in this. Made in Taiwan, not China. And then you've got, you know, your rectifier regular. This bypasses all of your old charging system and ignition system. This is basically just an, an adapter harness. You won't need your old ignition coil. CDI box, you won't need your old stator. If you're on a little bit of a budget and you want to upgrade your 8-pole stator to an 11-pole stator, but keeping the original ignition system, the ignition coil and CDI box, you know, it will still, it'll still be an AC system with this exciter coil. All we're doing is upgrading to an 11 pole. We do have that, keeping in mind that it can't just plug in because this only has two wires, yellow and white. This guy, three, ye three yellow wires. So if you try to plug that in, you're gonna have a ground going to power. So you have to use this kit. You can't just put an 11 pole stator in, in place of your eight pole. You have to do this setup. We have this as well. And this plugs in exactly like this, like your old one. The difference is you have to upgrade the rectifier regulator and everything's included. So you, it, this is the way it comes, our eight pole to 11 pole stator upgrade kit. Uh, it comes with this to remove the magneto. You're gonna reuse your old magneto. Install this 11 pole, because you had the eight pole. Remove that, put the 11 pole in. Put your old magneto back on. Put your put this on just like it was before. Everything remains the same. You're going to plug this into your old harness just like before and this guy into your old harness same. The only difference is you've now got this rectifier regulator that you're going to run. You'll mount this wherever you want and then this runs positive and negative back to the battery. And now you have an 8 pole to 11 pole stator upgrade kit and you didn't have to tamper with the ignition system at all. So we have two options. Uh, if you do the 18 pole you do have to convert to DC. Hopefully this all makes sense. I know there's a lot going on, but I'll link all the products down below. Hope you guys learned something. Appreciate you guys.